Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm be showing you how to test if a player has a certain advancement. And so if you like manga videos like this one, then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more manga videos like this one. And so today we'll take a look at advancements and how to test if a player has actually received that advancement or not with commands. And so to show this off, I have two examples right over here in front of me. And so this first command over here will check if I have the kill a mob advancement or monster hunter as it's also called. And since I currently don't have it, it's currently not activated. So now if we were to kill a mob, so for example here we have a zombie and if we kill it like this, there we go, we get the monster hunter advancement. And I don't think that anything has changed, but we now have gotten strength. Look at that, we have the strength effect. And so we can look at this again by removing this kill a mob advancement. So there we go, we remove it and there we go, the strength is gone. And so this can be really useful in your maps if you for example want the player to first of all have received a certain advancement and then get some sort of a effect or some sort of item whatever. So this command over here will give the player a strength effect once they kill them all and so the command over here is slash effect give so it's just a normal effect command but then at p and then we specify the advancement in here and so at p must have advancements equals adventure kill a mob equals true so this means it will only target the nearest player that has advancements adventure kill a mob is true and of course, you can expand this to multiple people by just changing this to add A, that would work as well. And so then it's just micro strength one zero true. That's just the normal effect command again. The important part here is the part between square brackets. And of course, I will also leave the commands I show in this video in the description down below so you can copy them over and work with them yourself. So for these commands, it's really helpful to go through the advancement commands. Since the name of the advancement is not always the same as the name you have to use over here. So for example, if we go to the advancement command, we for example grant ourselves only. And then here you see a list of all the advancements. And you see they are separated into different categories as they are in the advancement tab as well. But then the names here might be a little bit different than they are in the advancement tab. So you'll have to go through here and make sure that you have the right name for the advancement you want to check for. So for example here is walk on powder snow with leather boots. If we try that one we will see it's actually called light as a rabbit. And so for the command to work you have to use the actual name as it says in the advancement command here. Walk on powder snow with leather boots. So do keep that in mind when you're working with this command and so then you also have to make sure that this command block is on always active and on repeat so we'll always keep checking for a player with this killer mob advancement and so as we can see currently no entity was found which makes sense since we revoked the advancement for ourselves but now if we just kill another mob we will get the monster hunter advancement again now it says apply strength to maximum down to five and there we go we have the strength effect applied to us where we got the advancement so that's already really useful and then right here we have a second example so here this time i want to give the player a reward for getting an advancement now this is slightly more tricky since if i for example use the same thing as over here but this time used for example slash give to give the player let's say an emerald if they got this advancement then if we press done yeah it will give us an emerald every single tick because this command block works every single tick which of course yeah that is pretty fun but definitely not what we want right and so to fix this we have to be a little bit more creative and so let's go over here so first of all i'll show you that it actually works so this is for the advancement to sleep in a bed and so let's make it night time there we go night time and now we will sleep in this bed and we'll look at our hot bar to see what we get. So here we go, sleep in the bed and we immediately get five diamonds. And we get this because we got the advancement, sweet dreams. And you now also notice that this wrestler comparator over here has turned on. And so let's see what's going on here. So it's something different than over here, definitely, because this time we just received five diamonds in one go and nothing else. So what we have over here is an execute command and so this execute command will see if there is an entity the nearest player that has the advancement 
adventure, sleep in bed equal to true. And so now we've split up the command into two pieces. So first of all, we check. And then with the second command block, we give out the reward. And so here we can see test passed, count this one. So there's one player that has this, and that's just me. And so if the test is passed, then the command block will give out a redstone signal. So we can use a comparator here to get redstone signal from this command block into another command block. I think you can also do something with conditional command blocks and stuff like that. But this is just more convenient for me. And so once again, here you have to make sure that this command block is on always active and on repeat. So we'll always test if this is true or not. And so as for the second command block, so we could just set it to slash give at p diamond 5. That would work as well. But I also added the extra tag here with advancement is adventure sleep and that is true. And so I've added this tag here. It isn't even necessary, but it's here for now. And so then diamond 5, there we go. That's the entire command here. And so this way you can check if players have received a certain advancement with these commands. So you can do this with special commands that use the add p and would work if you just give it every single tick. So that works, for example, for an effect command. So I can just give it for one second. And since it applies it every single tick, it will just be strength there forever. And then also for more general commands where you just want it to activate once, you could use this setup over here with the repeat command block, the execute command, and the impulse command block with the command you want to activate here. And so that is pretty much it. As I said, make sure to actually check the name in the advancement command instead of in this advancement tab, since these names are mostly not the same. And so there we go. If you have any more questions about this, then please let me know about it in the comments down below. And so if you like this video, then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft videos like this one. I want to thank my tier 3 members this Mikelar, thank you so much for becoming a tier 3 member. If you also want to become a member, click the blue join button below the video to check out the different tiers. But there we go, I hope you all enjoy this video all in the next one. So till then, mm, bye bye.